Hello everyone and welcome back to Pittsburgh Vader. In this video, uh, I actually do have a plan for this video. We're going to be working on finishing this wheel well. We have to put one more layer of fiberglass and then we can undercoat that. So I'm going to be working on that. Uh, last couple weeks we did install a heater up there so we can actually heat the garage. We have another one that's going to be going up there somewhere. Uh, still have to install that but for right now we can actually get some heat in the garage so it's much easier to work down here. Uh, right after we finish down there we're going to be coming back to the trunk and as you can see right now we have one uh, shock installed. I'm actually probably going to have to take that back out because it doesn't seem like it's strong enough. Normally you use the G35 struts for the trunks but the way I did my trunk I didn't have enough room down there to mount the stock ones they're too long so I bought shorter ones online but they are actually uh, not strong enough so I'm probably just going to put a new location so I can get the actual G35 ones in since I know these work so I'm going to be working on that and then once those are installed I'm going to be working on getting the rest of the latch installed and finished so we can get that working with the trunk button and everything this side is completely done as you can see it's undercoated and everything so that's done under there uh, I'll be coming out here and doing the rest of the body work here getting this ready for primer and everything and after we get this and the trunk pretty much done uh, I'm not sure how much more we're gonna get done on the car this weekend and next weekend because we do have the uh, Pittsburgh International Car Show and another one I think it's World of Wheels they're coming to the convention center in Pittsburgh, so I'm going to those. And there should be some pretty cool cars there, so I'll take videos of those and I'll put that at the very end of this video. So if you want to see those, I'm pretty sure the uh, McLaren Senna is going to be there and a couple other really cool cars. So I'll put that in at the end. If you guys want to see those, keep watching. If not, once you start seeing uh, cars that aren't the Vader, just end the video. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to. I just thought since it's probably going to be pretty cool, I'll put those on the channel and just see if you guys like that kind of stuff. And if you do like seeing the uh, auto show and all that, uh, there are a lot of those car shows out here so I could go film more of those when it starts getting warm outside. So if you do like seeing that kind of stuff, let me know. I can start adding that kind of stuff to the channel. And if not, I'll just keep working on the Vader. So I was finishing the second layer of fiberglass here and I am out of resin. So I'm going to run to the store now and get more resin and finish this up. And I'm also going to get uh, more metal plates and bolts to try to redo the trunk latches, which I'm a little upset about because I did get it working pretty well. But uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to change up those shocks. So uh, not a huge deal. I'm just going to have to run to the store and buy some parts for that. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, it's already 10 o'clock, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done. And tomorrow we're going to that car show, so I'm not sure uh, how far we're going to get on this. But I'm going to get to the store as quick as I can, try to get this done, and I'll show you guys what we end up getting finished. 
All right, so Lowe's closes at nine. So we're leaving and we're gonna go to Walmart and hopefully they'll have the stuff we need. But if not, uh, I'm not gonna be able to undercoat the wheel wells this weekend because I'm gonna need an extra day to do the fiberglass if I can't get all the stuff I need here. So hopefully Walmart will have the stuff we need, but we'll see. All right, I just got back with more resin and some more gloves. So I'm gonna try to finish up in here and hopefully I get this all done tonight and then by tomorrow it'll be dry and I can spray this with the undercoating and we'll be done with this wheel well as well. So we got the second layer of fiberglass laid on all through the second wheel well on the driver's side. So I'm going to let that dry up overnight and then come back tomorrow and make sure it's sturdy enough. And if I don't need to add another layer, then I'll just undercoat that, wait for that to dry, put the wheel back on, and I can put the car back down. Uh, if not, I might have to put another layer on, but the other side was two. So I think this should be good with two and then I come in on the inside and go from over top I can fiberglass on top there. So I should be good. So I'll let that dry up, see how it is. And then I'll keep working on the trunk. Now I uh, went to Lowe's and you saw they were closed. So we weren't able to get the metal for the trunk to be able to modify these hinges a little more. So I'm gonna try to stop tomorrow and hopefully I'll have time uh, between doing the car show and everything to be able to get the trunk installed and do all that uh, But if not then uh, that won't be in the video So I'll try to get that done show you what I'm gonna do, but we'll see All right, everyone so it's the next day and the uh, fiberglass is hardened up But I did miss a couple spots by accident on the inner lip here So I'm gonna have to go back and put another layer or two on there uh, so I'm gonna have to let that dry and we're going to the car show in a little bit So I'm not gonna be able to undercoat in this video uh, We also got the metal plate here But since I have to redo some of the fiberglass under there uh, I'm not gonna get to the hinges and everything up there this weekend So I'll be doing that next time I'm working on the car So I won't be in this video, but probably in the next one and I'm not going to show me doing the rest of the fiberglass under here since it's the same process over and over again that I've already done. So yeah, I'm just going to do that off camera and get that all finished up and then put the wheel back on and everything. And then that's going to effectively end the Vader part of this video. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one. And if you want to see the car show stuff, just keep watching.